Now let's see some properties of tangents. Already we have discussed about many properties in tangents. Radius is perpendicular to tangent and the length of the tangents are equal from an external point to the circle is how we have seen some of the properties of the tangents connected with the circle. Similarly, let's see some extended properties of the tangents which are also very useful. Initially to start with the concentric circles. So let's take two circles which are concentric to each other that is concentric in the sense with same center. If two circles are concentric implies the two circles are with the same center. Now in this case let me draw a chord for the bigger circle say this is the chord or the secant for the bigger circle AB. So the chord or the secant of the bigger circle AB makes us understand that this is a tangent to the smaller circle. I take the chord for the bigger circle in such a way that it touches the smaller circle in this manner. Now since AB is the secant which touches the circle, the smaller circle, therefore I understand that AB is the chord or secant for the bigger circle but AB is the tangent to the smaller circle because it touches at say point P is how I understand. AB is the chord for the bigger circle and AB is the tangent for the smaller circle, tangent at P. Now let me join OP. Now I need to prove here that P bisects AB that is the point of contact in this situation always bisects the chord AB is what we need to prove here that is when I have the point of contact for the smaller circle must bisect PB that is I have to prove that PA is equal to PB is what I need to prove in case of the concentric circles the bigger circle and the smaller circle. So for this let's join AO and BO so that I get this perpendicular to this and this perpendicular to this because radius is perpendicular to tangent for the smaller circle. So here the construction is so here I join Vo A and Vo B. Also I join Vo P. Now in this case my required to prove is P A equal to P B. Therefore let's see how we can prove this using the two triangles A O P and B O P. So to start with the proof of the statement. Now for these two triangles let me take Considering triangle OAP and triangle OBP, clearly I see that these two triangles are congruent. As I can see that one of them is 90 and one of them is the common side and the third side is the radius by SAS or RHS congruency. I have these two triangles congruent. That is, if I start with Vo A is equal to Vo B because of same radii. Is the same radius, therefore this must be equal to this. Next, my Vo P is equal to Vo P because it is the common side for the two triangles. Therefore, this is because of the common side property. Similarly, angle A P Vo is equal to angle BPO which is equal to 90 degrees that is angle APO is equal to angle BPO which is 90 degrees since radius is perpendicular to tangent is what we have already discussed as the theorem. Now clearly I see that this is right angle this is hypotenuse and this is one of the side which again makes me remind of the RHS congruency through which the two triangles AOAP and OBP are congruent. Therefore, for this triangle by RHS congruency, I can show that, I can prove that 
triangle OAP is congruent to triangle OBP are the two triangles which are congruent to each other. Now therefore because the two triangles are congruent they are equal in all respects with angles and sides therefore the sides must be equal therefore this triangle with the side AP must be equal to the other triangle with the side PB that implies PA must be equal to PB is what we have proved through the congruency of two triangles. Therefore, PA is equal to PB implies P bisects AB is what the statement concludes is how we get. Therefore, when I draw a chord to the circle, then the other concentric circle where the chord acts as the tangent will exactly be the midpoint that is this bisects P bisects AB such that PA is equal to PB is what we have proved in case of this theorem. So let's take the next property the extended properties of tangents where the property says that if I have a circle with an external point P then I can draw two tangents. So let's draw the two tangents to the circle one of them here and one of them here this and this now here I need to prove that let me take this external point as E and my center as A and this as P and Q so that my points are P and Q. Now if I join P and Q and then join with this and this then I have to prove that this angle is twice of this angle is what we need to prove. So let's see how we need to prove this. So if I consider a circle with center O and A is any point outside, I can draw two tangents from the external point A that is AP and AQ are the two tangents. So using the two tangents, let's see how I had to prove angle PAQ is twice of angle OPQ or it is also twice of angle OQP is what I need to prove using the diagram. So this is the required to prove part. So how do I do the proof? So clearly I see that from A I have AP equals AQ. Therefore triangle APQ is isosceles triangle because two of its sides AP and AQ are equal. APQ is clearly an isosceles triangle since AP is equal to AQ. Now let me take this as theta. Now clearly I identify that if this is an isosceles triangle, this angle and this angle must be same by isosceles property. That implies angle APQ is equal to angle AQP since by isosceles property is what I get from isosceles property. So if I take this as X and X and theta, then clearly I identify that if this angle is theta, this is x and this is x, then x plus x plus theta is 180 degrees. Because sum of three angles in a triangle is 180, this will be equal to 180. So that 2x is 180 minus theta. Or I get x equals 90 minus half theta is what I get from sub of three angles of a triangle.
So in this case, x equals 90 minus theta by 2. But we know that x is angle APQ or AQP, which is 90 minus theta by 2. Now, next, I consider the angle OPA. Therefore, angle OPA, as I see in the diagram, is OPQ plus QPA is what we get. Angle O PQ plus angle QPA is what I get when I split the entire angle into this angle plus this angle. So this plus this is the entire angle. So let's see what I get when I simplify further with this. That implies my angle OPQ which I'm going to find would be angle OPQ on the left hand side is equal to angle OPA QP OPQ is angle OPA which is totally which I need to find 